you're sitting amongst all these different ways, you, you're trying to navigate your way through, I guess, personalities of, of, of ways. Some are soft, some are... Like, I call some ways angry. <laughs> I think they're angry sometimes. <laughs> And you know, in some ways, are made to be left alone, not ridden at all, because they're just so severe, and they're so. They just have this thing you're going to take up on this way, and you could seriously get hurt. <laughs> so you let them go past, you know. <laughs> when I'm paddling into a wave, you can feel what's going to happen before you even see it. So as you're paddling and you can, you're sort of like looking down the way I'm going to go right and you can sort of see the lip feathering. There's so many, like there's hundreds and hundreds of feelings that are going through me as, as I'm just taking off. Have I paddled too fast? Have I n not paddled enough? Could this be a dangerous spot for me. So these things are going through my head as I'm just paddling and then at the same time I'm going, is this wave going to, uh, we call it run, say like, like run down the line like really fast. So do I have to get really low on my surfboard to compress, to create energy on my board, to let go of that energy of myself and pull myself up so I can start weaving down the line. So, and all these things are happening, that's happening in my head. And then I'm like, oh my goodness. Is my wax, have I got enough wax on the nose of my board, you know? And then, as I take off, you have this sort of mental you have a memory of what is right here and what possibly could happen. So sometimes you, you take off and you're not even looking that way, you're just going through your own motions. So I'm going to compress down on my board and then come up. And then then you start seeing what's, what's happening. So I'm inside the barrel and there's so many different shapes of a barrel, it could be round, it could be oval, and there's some barrels that, that I call breathe, and they, they sort of like a, they open up and close, open up and close, so I call that breathing. <laughs> and, and then, you know, there's another kind of barrel when, when you're standing inside it, the big circular motion, it's creating like an ear pocket and in that ear pocket that's all around you it, the ear starts getting drawn back and then right behind your head is like the foam ball like the, the most purest energy that I've, I've ever been in it's not touched by man it's created by itself and because you're in a, in a a cylinder, it's like a compression of energy in there. So when it gets too much for the wave, it has to blow out. And we call that a spit. And all that energy behind you blows out. And you can feel it while you're just standing there. It starts getting... You feel like you're going slow. And you can start hearing it and it kind of goes silent. And you go, oh my god, here it comes. So you kind of have to squint your eyes and just wait for it and it blows out <coughs> and because it's like needles if it hits your skin and if it's powerful enough so it does hurt your eyes if your eyes are open and then you're sort of like yeah I yeah, made it through that now I have to try and keep weaving in the barrel as it, as it starts breathing as it opens up I'm going to stay close to the face I can move up down and I'm always having to look at the top corner of the, of the barrel and then I'm like, oh, do I want to stay in it longer? So I put my arm in there to slow me down. 
or do I need to speed up, take it out, you know, so I'm controlling if I want to stay inside this barrel longer. Um, you know, and that's, those are hundreds of feelings that are going through your mind within 10 seconds. That's how long some of the barrels are. If some of the barrels could only be 5 seconds, but those things are still all going through your mind. That's without any distractions. Now a distraction could be a surfer padding up the face of the wave, a, a camera guy who's got a water housing trying to get that perfect shot of a surfer. You know, those are all distractions that could put you off plus all the other things that you are negotiating in your head, in your body, in the wave. Um, yeah, and just say a 10 second barrel, I could go over a good barrel, I could go over it all day on why it felt strange because my weight might have been too far forward on the board or that moment where it was just pure bliss. You know, I'm standing in it, no hands, and you're just like, wow. Um, and that moment seems so slow too when you get the wow moment. <laughs> You're just like standing there, and everything's just perfect. Everything you did at the start has made you, has got you to this point where everything is just perfect. Um, and it seems so silent. You know, in a place where it's so pure and delicious, and it could also chop your head off with the lip, and you get guillotined and get smashed. But there is a moment right there where you're just like, this is perfect. And this is where I want to be. And then bang, you've got to change. You know. And then you could be back in that moment again. Here I am again. And it's, you know, it's just split seconds, but they are pictures that I've got in my memory that are just incredible.